Hello, my name is Marco Tidona and I'm the inventor of the Aponix Vertical Barrel and I would like to give you a quick overview on how this tool can be used to grow leafy greens and small vegetables at high density and what the concept behind looks like. I guess most of you already heard of the background details about the existing value chain from seed to table, population growth, environmental problems involved, food waste, waste of resources, etc. etc. And that the food ending up on our plates has lost almost all its nutritional value, being transported and treated like crazy. In short, somebody has to do something about it and to facilitate urban farming is one promising way to solve many of these problems. So here we are, developing a simple Lego-like piece we call the 1-6 piece, which comes in version 2 after two years of testing our prototype. You take six of them to assemble one ring segment of a barrel. Then you stack those ring segments as high as you have height available in your designated growing area. Each ring segment adds 12 more grow spaces to one barrel. At the moment these are two 2 inch net pot insets, so we can well speak of production capacity per cubic meter instead of yield per square meter. All this without building rack structures, obstructing access to plants and availability of light. Then there's a lid for the top where one central irrigation is attached, could be a spray nozzle or a simple sprinkler, delivering one liter of liquid fertilizer per minute from the circulation. Each barrel can be put on a solid standing base or hung up using the top lid, also as base. The liquid is flowing down the inside of the barrel with a wing structure directing the water directly to the root zones of your plants and exits at the lowest point flowing back by gravity to your reservoir. And this is how it looks in a production environment. The idea is to just have simple and robust parts that can be assembled into as many barrels as there is space available and connect them all to an adequate central reservoir, a pressure line and pump for irrigation. The design was made with the workflow in commercial horticulture production in mind. Processes need to be as lean as possible and the components used need to withstand heavy duty handling for years. This is also the reason why we call this component a barrel and not a tower. And this is also where it distinguishes itself from the existing tower systems out there, all including their own reservoir and pump. As long as you run a few towers, maintaining them efficiently is feasible, but if you maintain 10 or 100 of them, it will turn into a nightmare. Like with the tower solutions, pre-grown seedlings are inserted into the barrel grow spaces. Once a barrel has been harvested completely, the lid is opened and the ring segments are thrown to the ground, power washed, restacked and then immediately replanted. Professional growers can manage up to 17 grow cycles per barrel per year this way. If you think of a barrel with 14 ring segments being 2.4 meters high, you will be able to grow 168 plants in each barrel in each cycle. There is no system available delivering such a plant density, just being assembled from one simple Lego part. As you can see, the Aponix barrel is meant to be a B2B product for professional growers. But with more decentralized urban farms popping up all over the planet, there will be a growing demand for such a simple, robust and high-density production component. And this is exactly the first starting point for Aponix. In 2017 there will be also other adapters, as we call them, available, meaning as the same 1.6 part but with different growing adapters for one larger net pot or completely closed in order to grow much bigger plants like cucumbers and tomatoes etc. And there will also be a soil based and consumer version in 2017 which will be sold through normal hardware stores. This B2C version will have a rolling base serving as wicker bed tank for efficient irrigation and water buffering. The adapter in the 1.6 part will be one large shelf for manual planting like in a normal raised bed. So, where does Aponix currently stand with all that? The barrel concept has been granted a German patent in 2015 and we have issued a PCT announcement in 2016 and can give now international licenses for franchising and manufacturing. We are currently seeking for partners to do that. The prototypes have been tested by institutions, professionals and hobby growers with surprisingly good results. In the meantime, there are several exhibition barrels placed all around the world. The tooling for a larger series production in Germany is just being put into place and larger numbers of the parts will be available in October 2016. So I hope I could inspire you about the Aponix barrel concept and also for urban farming, because it's definitely going to be the next big thing. 
If you would like to have more information like more detailed slides, photographs or you have questions, please let me know. You can reach me via email at hello at aponics.eu. There are also many more images and details on our website and also on our Facebook page. So thanks for taking the time. I wish you all the best, keep up the good work and hopefully see you in person someday somewhere in the open farming space. Take care, let it grow, eat local and bye bye.